Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to use the on back pressed override method to quickly navigate to some other layouts, not previous other layouts in your Android app. Please note this is not a very right or uh, methodical approach. The better approach is to use fragments, but this I'm just trying to show how you can quickly do it in case it's required. So let's begin. So there will be a separate video for fragments as well. Please refer to that. So I'll just name it as uh, back pressed layout app. So whatever the name doesn't matter. I'll click finish. Wait for the environment to load. Environment is come up. Perfect. I'll run this uh, empty app or the native app in an emulator so that my emulator can come up in parallel on the right hand side. In parallel, what I will do is I will start creating my layout. So first layout we anyway get by default which is the activity main. Probably I will keep it simple in this video. So I will keep create just one more layout. So that could be uh, layout resource file and I will name this as second layout and click OK. Yeah, perfect. No? OK. In the meantime, when the right hand side is getting created, the emulator let it shrink. Now in this layout, I'll just keep it really simple. Uh, I'll just put one text view probably, and which will be just to display purpose. Say for example, I'm just bringing it larger, making larger, and I'll name it as second layout. Perfect. Give it some constraints. Perfect. So this is just for display purpose. I'll also put a button, and a button could be. I'll name this button as first or main activity. Go to main activity. Go to main layout. Okay. And I'll give the constraints here as well. Perfect. I'm repeating this is not the right approach, but this is a very quick way to do it. If in case you want to really navigate to a particular layout, but the better approach is fragments, uh, which will be in my other video. Okay, so here also there is a text view in the main uh, layout, so that I'll change it to probably and name it as main layout. Give it some constraints or constraints already given. I mean that is required, and I'll give a button over here which will take me to the second layout. So go to second layout. Okay, so these buttons are just for showing you how we will be navigating, but actually I just want to show you how we can use this back button over here in the phone to navigate uh, as usual okay so what i'll do is over here i will i think i just need two public methods for both the buttons so one is a public void and button uh, sec go to second layout view view perfect and i'll also create one more method called public void button go to main layout view view perfect i think this a should be small yeah now i will uh, go to my uh, layouts and associate it with the methods which we just not defined so this will be go to second layout and the other one will be go to where is the on click method for this i think yeah over here Go to main layout. Perfect. Now, code is pretty simple over here. So, whenever, say, for example, if you want to go to the main layout, you have to use the set content. And over here, simply like this, again, I'm repeating a disclaimer over here. This is not the right approach to use set content view. The better is fragments. But yeah, let's right now do it like this. And the second is to go to the second layout. Yeah. So, uh, this will be very easy to navigate. I'll show you. In parallel, when I do more coding, in parallel I'll do more coding, but I'll at least run this part of the code and show you. You can easily navigate <coughs> from first to second. So, say for example, if I press this, it goes to the second layout. If I press it, it comes to the first layout. So, this way you can keep navigating. But the problem is, say for example, you have second layout and you want to come back to the first layout using this back button because users are used to using these back buttons. But if you click this, it will go to the home page it will return it will close the app and it will not go to the first layout so that's the problem 
So we will be fixing that and how to do that is we'll show very quickly. So we will there is a method called on back pressed. So this is an override method. And by default, super is the this line number 30 is the by default uh, whatever the constant of this method is. But what we'll do is we'll customize it as per our uh, requirement. So say for example, whenever this is in the second layout. So it should go to the main layer. So probably we'll have a, another class variable called private int int layout. By default, I will assume that it's in the first layout. So I'll put one, but over here I will change it to because we are navigating to the second layout. And probably I will change it to one over here. So we'll be using this as a flag. To decide in the on back press where we should go. So if uh, say for example our this is equal to equal to two, that means it's in the second layout, and I will have to go to the main layout. But else, what should I do? Is I should. I mean, if it's in already in the main layout, then I think this particular function, whatever it is, which is basically to close the app and go to the home screen, that should be called. So if it's in the second layout, then what should I do is I should go to the main layout, which is this one basically control C, control V. But I think I will also have to again change it back to the this flag. I have to change it to the first layout so that it doesn't confuse gets confused if I press this button multiple times. So I think that's all. Let me rerun my app. So I'll click on this button. It goes to the second uh, layout. It again comes back to the main layout. Now I am trying this back button. Perfect. And if I click it again, it will go to the home screen because line number 37 will run and that's because it, it will uh, default to the uh, default functionality, whatever the uh, in the app it is. Okay, so say for example, I just started in, uh, uh, before pressing itself. If I click here, it will go to the, uh, of course, home screen. I am rerunning the app. I go to the second layout, I press this, yeah, perfect, it's working perfectly fine. So that's all I wanted to show you, how easy it is, you, you can use set, set content view to quickly uh, move from uh, between different layouts and this is just for a small uh, quick uh, purpose when you want to navigate, but otherwise to make a full face app, fragments should be used and I'll uh, please watch it in my other video. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.